where you have the uh, hypothalamus, the uh, pituitary gland, and the pineal all connected together. Again, this is why they corrupt our sacred pyramid symbol into something that you have turned into something evil. But um, yeah, so we see here, as the point I was making earlier, why the corruption of natural laws in terms of um, you, you know, uh, Antichrist, um, that you are carbonated natural beings. So this is why this antithesis towards you, you know, has manifested. And we're going to get into that a little more and, and talk about when we start talking about the roots of those who established this and where they actually plagiarized it from. Okay, so <clears throat> now that we know that you know, allegory, a parable, a myth, and a fable are all, you know, similar expressions of a certain thing, um, we know that uh, the expressions of the divine spirit through each of us um, as characters conveying a moral uh, issue. How do we know that? Let's talk about that for a minute. Um, actually, in uh, Martin Bernal's uh, Black Athenia, he talked about this concept of the black dot as well. Uh, one other source we have is uh, the great George G.M. James and his great work on Stolen Legacy, which uh, in 1954, in which he stated that the ancient texts were copied and plagiarized um, by those who came later. Now, let's go into that. Okay, let's go into this period of history because, again, one of the real issues that we have is the history book is full of the conquest, uh, both uh, academically, physically, spiritually, and morally, of a certain people that we know, based on historical records, is not true.